Okay, so on this uh, 2009 um, Pontiac G5 GT, uh, y'all have seen that I had a broken key problem and I extracted the broken key. Uh, problem is now I've got to get a new key that I can get programmed to this car. So here's what I'm going to do. Got some tin full. Don't laugh at me, guys. And I've got the new key. Okay. Thank you. I got the new key and the old key. I've already tried just putting the new key in and holding the old key to the new key so that the transponder would read it so I could start the car that will not work. I'm assuming that the reason why that won't work is because it's reading the transponder from both keys and it's confusing the car um, and telling it that it's not the right key. So what I'm gonna try to do is wrap the new key in the aluminum foil to block the transponder uh, from sending a signal to the ignition while I hold this one to, you know, next to the key so it can read the transponder signal from this so that's what i'm going to do let me wrap that up get ready and then i'll bring you all back all right here goes guys i got that one wrapped in tin foil i'm going to press this one against it no dice it's not working hm. i thought for sure that would do it to try something else okay I had to put a different battery charger on here the other one was slap dead I don't know if this one's gonna do any better nope I don't know if the battery chargers really got anything to do with it or if it's really that this isn't blocking the transponder well enough to to make this work So supposedly, once you have it running with a key that makes it run, which, you know, we just made a key that made it run between these two. But anyway, once you have a key that makes the car run, supposedly you can program more keys by simply turning the car off and re-cranking the car with the new key within five seconds. So what I'm going to attempt to do is I'm going to attempt to turn this car off remove the tin foil from that key, put it back in there, and restart the car within five seconds. Uh, if I can do that, then the car should program this key to the car. Um, I don't have anywhere, I, I don't think that I can set this for y'all to watch, and I don't know that I can get that tin foil off with one hand in five seconds. So I'm just going to turn the video off. I'm going to rip that tinfoil off as quick as I can. Well, turn off the car first. Rip the tinfoil off as quick as I can. And then try and start the car back. And then I'll bring you all back. I apologize, but I don't have a tripod or anybody to help me today. So that's just the way it's going to have to be. Okay, guys. This is literally like two seconds later. I didn't realize the tinfoil was going to come off that easy. It did. But just because of the way the pocket was. So I literally ripped it off, stuck the key right back in there, cranked the car right back up, 
and as you can see there's the key with no tin full on it and the car's running you can see I don't know if you can hear it but you can see the RPMs so that does work so just just to recap if you have a broken key like I do and you, you go have one made by your local locksmith or your dealerships going to be about 50 bucks um, they'll want like another hundred bucks to program it me personally I wouldn't pay it I didn't I knew I could figure it out one way or another so I didn't I only bought the key um, I took the new key I wrapped it up very good in ten full and um, then I just took this key the one that actually works with this one wrapped up in ten full and I stuck it right there and uh, it started the car. Uh, you have to wrap the key in ten full because otherwise it's trying to read both transponders and it's not going to work. Um, after you have the car started, I would let it run for a little while, of course, but uh, then you can turn your car off, rip that ten full off as quick as you can, and then restart the car within five seconds um, with the ten full off. And then that will... Um, that will program this key or at least it's supposed to now it just worked for me so what I'm going to do now uh, since I can use both hands now is I'm going to turn this car off and I'm going to wait for more than five seconds and see if this key is programmed if this key will continuously start this car let's see so that's been about five seconds I'm going to wait even a little bit longer just just to make sure because I don't know if this is really going to work or not okay there we go I don't know if you can hear it but there's the RPM so that's how you program uh, when you have a broken key uh, you have a working key I should say um, you know to program another key so this was working but it was broken so I used use the new key to program it now there is another way to program reprogram completely if you have no working keys to do it with like you don't even have this to use as a transponder um, and that way is you take your key and you put it in the ignition and you turn it all the way over like it is now and You'll see up here, you might have seen it earlier in the video, there's a, like a little lock and a guy, it's a security light. That security light will be on because you're trying to put the wrong key in there. What you do is you leave your key turned all the way over um, for 10 minutes, R right about 10 minutes. It's not going to be 10 minutes exactly. And you'll see the light, that security light, go off. When that security light goes off, you turn your key off and then immediately turn it back over. Now, when I say turn it all the way over, you're not trying to start the engine. You turn it all the way to just before that every time. So, the first time, and then you turn it off, you know, after the light goes off in about 10 minutes. And you, do, you repeat that process three times. Now, on the third time, you might get a blinking light or a, the light might continuously blink, blink once, go off. Either way, you're just looking for a change in the light. Once that happens, you want to turn your car off, um, take the key out, and wait a couple seconds, and then put the key back in, and it should crank the car. So the car should have programmed the key for you. Um, these are actually very simple to program keys for. Like, I, I have a key programming software computer and I was hoping not to have to break it out because it is a you know a China one and uh, you never know where it's going to work or not. Now to its credit, it's worked for me every single time. It's Dax Tool 100, um, but I didn't have to use it here. The the car did all the programming for me, and that's awesome. So uh, just wanted to show y'all guys that that way you know y'all can do this yourself as well. You don't have to pay a mechanic to do this for you and. Uh, you know, like a hundred, it's like a hundred bucks. So save yourself some money, do it yourself. It's very easy. 
Um, if if you like this content, please give us a like uh, or a share or both. Um, and also, please subscribe to the channel. We provide all kinds of content like this, working on cars, um, cleaning up cars, flipping cars. Uh, really, anything that has anything to do with a car, that's what our channel is about. <laughs> so, uh, please give us a like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate all the support, and we'll see you all on the next one.